Hello, grade six students, and welcome to this lesson of module two, which is Our World, part two. To be able to follow me, please keep your students' books opened on pages 22 and 23, your workbooks on page 17. And don't forget to bring your pen and a blank sheet of paper to take notes. As usual, you need to know why you're watching this lesson. In other words, what are the learning objectives? I'll tell you. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to compose two compound sentences using when or while in the past tense. Ready? So let's get started. Checkpoint. I'll ask you a question. Do you know how to use when and while to join two sentences, so let's check. Here is an exercise, which is fill in the gaps using when or while. Here we have four gaps in four sentences that we need to fill in using when or while, depending on the structure and the meaning. Let's start with number one, to do together. I was watching TV, space, I fell asleep. So the answer is when, thank you, to be I was watching TV when I fell asleep. Now pause the video till you finish filling in the gaps of the three remaining sentences. Back again, let's check number two. Sammy fell and hurt his knee while he was playing football. Number three, while I was studying, a friend of mine phoned me. The last one, I was walking down the street when I found a wallet. Thank you. By finishing this exercise, you have checked your knowledge of using when and while to join two sentences in the past. Let's move on to the lesson. To start with the student's book, go to page 22, especially focus on this text. In this text, we're going to have an exercise on this part of the text. The exercise is underline all verbs. We are going to underline all verbs specifically in this sentence. Pause the video till you finish underlining all verbs. Back again. The verbs are were climbing, slept, and fell. This sentence, as we see, starts with while and it has a comma in the middle. Let's analyze the tenses used in this kind of sentences with while in addition to other sentences to drill the concept. Let's read them. While we were climbing, a man slipped. We need to pay attention to the tenses used. Number two, while I was drinking tea, the doorbell rang. Number three, I saw Ben while he was fixing his bike. In these three sentences, we have while that comes before the past progressive tense sentence and the other sentence is in the past simple tense. In other words, if we have two sentences to join, one in the past simple and the other one is in the past progressive, which is was or were plus verb ing, we use while before the past progressive tense sentence. In other words, if we have while in the beginning of the sentence, like number one and two, it's followed by the past progressive tense. Then we have a comma. And finally, we have a sentence in the past simple. Practice time. Let's look at this picture. What can you see? Thank you. 
a boy fell off his bike. So, what happened to the boy? He hurt his leg. What was he doing? He was riding his bike. So, these are two simple sentences. We need to join them using while to make one compound sentence. It will be, thank you. While the boy was riding his bike, he hurt his leg. Let's practice sentence number two. I was playing tennis. I fell and hurt my knee. I need to make one compound sentence using while. Excellent. While I was playing tennis, I fell and hurt my knee. The last one. I was doing my homework. I made a spelling mistake. The answer is going to be well done. While I was doing my homework, I made a spelling mistake. Still, we are with the same sentences, but this time we're going to make them compound sentences using when. Let's go to number one. The boy was riding his bike. He hurt his leg. We need to make them one compound sentence using when. Good job. It's going to be the boy was riding his bike when he hurt his leg. Number two, I was playing tennis. I fell and hurt my knee. Good. I was playing tennis when I fell and hurt my knee. The last one, I was doing my homework. I made a spelling mistake. Amazing. That's it. I was doing my homework when I made a spelling mistake. So can I say it in another way? Yes, I can start with when. For number three, I can say when I made a spelling mistake, I was doing my homework. So the rule is, if we have a sentence in the past progressive and another one in the past simple, and I need to join them to make one compound sentence using when I use when before the past simple tense sentence so if I need to start with when which one will follow thank you it's the past simple tense sentence and then we have a comma and then the past progressive tense sentence and that is the rule Let's have an assessment on the workbook on page 17, especially its exercise two. Read and circle A, B, C, or D, according to which one is correct. Let's do number one as a model to follow. Tarek was walking to school when it space to rain. As we agreed on before, when is followed by the past simple or the past progressive? Excellent, the past simple tense. So let's read the four options to choose which one is the past simple tense verb. A. Was starting. B. Starts. C. Started. D. Were starting. So the correct answer is Start it. Good job. Now, pause the video till you finish choosing the correct answer for each of the remaining three sentences. Back again to check. Number two. Harry and I space in the first when we saw a poisonous snake. So the answer is we're hiking. Thank you. Number three. While the guide space us, the ancient city, we took photos. So the answer is, was showing us the ancient city. Number four, Linda was talking on her phone when she walked into the shop. Excellent job. Let's move on. Kindly 
Go to your student's book, page 23, especially exercise 5. Talk with your partner about the unfortunate events in the box below. Let's have this event as an example. Walk home, lose keys. So that boy made a sentence, which is, I was walking home from school when I lost my keys. In this case, he joined the two events using when, but he paid attention that the past simple tense sentence comes after when. Can we join these two actions using while? Of course, yes. Here is the other way. I lost my keys while I was walking home from school. Now, pause the video till you finish working on these two events in the red rectangles. Let's work on this event. Ride bike, fall, hurt arm. That boy provided an example. While I was riding my bike, I fell and hurt my arm. He preferred to use while, which is followed by was plus verb ing like riding, that is the past progressive. Can you do it using when? I need you to join these two sentences using when. Excellent. It will be I was riding my bike when I fell and hurt my arm because when is followed by the past simple tense like fell and hurt. And now it's time for the last event that we work on. Study for test, fall asleep. These two actions in this event are going to be in one compound sentence with while and another way to make the same compound sentence but using when. Let's see how. I fell asleep while I was studying for the test. The other one, I was studying for the test when I fell asleep. Thank you. To sum up this lesson, if you have two sentences, one in the past simple and the other one in the past progressive, you need to join them into one compound sentence. You use while before the past progressive. So, if you start with while, the past progressive sentence follows while and then you use the past simple. The same will be with when, but in different position. You use when before the past simple tense sentence. So, in case you start with when, the past simple tense sentence will come after when, and then you write the past progressive after that. Thank you, and see you next time.